Hi, and welcome back. So today we have Lego Explorer Magazine issue 32, and this one has a bonus build, which is the, uh, so the main build is a Viking boat. Uh, it says a Viking ship, Viking ship. And then the uh, bonus build is the space shuttle, which we built last issue. Uh, but So I'm not going to open that because we've already built it. But we're going to go through the magazine. We're going to do the build. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, so let me bring the camera in. We'll show you the magazine, do the build, and get going. Okay, so we are going to be uh, this. So in, in England, this is just to reiterate, this is uh, six pounds 99. Uh, but it's imported uh, from my uh, Whole Foods. Whole Foods imports it, and it was actually a little more. It's thirteen ninety nine dollars. So, uh, but this is cool. It's uh, oh, the bonus build instructions. You scan the QR code to get the instructions for the bonus build. Now, there. Just so you know, what was interesting was this issue, which again is issue thirty two. Um, they had different bonus builds. They all had the Viking boat as the main build, but some had the space shuttle, some had uh, the tractor I had done in the last few, some had the polar bear I had done in the last few. So I'm assuming that near the end of the year, and some only had the, the boat, even though it said bonus build. But I guess they get rid of the old if they have extra of the other ones. So why not buy one with the bonus build, which I did. Um, so yeah, so let's dig right into it. So, so right on the inside cover, they show you how to build a Roman pencil pot, like a Roman Colosseum type, not a Colosseum, but a Roman building that you can put your pencils in. Uh, also how to extend it, pretty cool. Here's a table of contents. They tell you about the, uh, the Viking ship and also a Viking longhouse, which is cool, and different things. Now this uh, is filled with all kinds of cool stuff. Here's a really neat Viking ship. And they have all facts about the real Vikings, about everything about how they explored, horns on their helmets, if they really did or not, the Viking life, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, here is the uh, longhouse, which I think is so neat that you could build, um, you know, obviously with your own Lego, but very, very cool. Um, this is different um, crests on shields and what they mean, the colors, how you can mix colors and shapes. Uh, these are different uh, animal charges that they would have sometimes, like here you can see this guy's got a lion on his. So really cool. Um, and then on the next page is a blank outline where you can design your own. Pick a color, pick shapes if you want an animal charge. Really, really, really cool. You sketch it out and then you can build it with uh, Lego if you'd like. Here are the uh, idea quick builds that people send in, or no, no, sorry, these are not ones people send in. This is given by, uh, by Lego, different things. This looks like a hedgehog, a dog, a treasure chest, looks like a rover, another tractor with a trailer here, some sort of space vehicle, a drone, which doesn't look like very much like a drone. Here are the ones people send in, which are really cool. I like this part. It's builds people have made, they send in, to show you what they've done. I just find that to be really, really cool. Um, here's some more builds people have sent in. This is a recycling program they must have in England. You can recycle your bricks. Don't know why you would, because you can build with them over and over again. This is talking about castles, and these, here are some real life castles with a little information about where they are and um, you know what the names of these castles are, and a little facts about the various castles, which I find pretty cool. Uh, Here's just some tips to being a better builder. Uh, you know, basic tips, but interesting, a lot of fun. I find these magazines a lot of fun to read through. I really do. Um, here's the Lego Lab, where they give you some, some um, experiments, some different things you can try with different types of pieces to build various things. Here's a chariot, which is kind of cool. Um, here's how to... You can take the included Viking boat and build something different from uh, using the parts. Also, some other things you can make. Really, really cool stuff. Tips. Here is a really nice one, building better buildings. A lot of tips for building better buildings. If you have a Lego village, uh, just all kinds of cool things. Little tips to make nice detail from a master builder. Really, really good information that I find you know, very interesting. 
Um, here's like a Roman life quiz about life in, in Rome, which I think is neat, very interesting. Uh, here's information about medieval life. We had Vikings. Here's about work, travel, food, houses, uh, shops, everything about medieval, living in the medieval times, blacksmithing. And then we've got the instructions so we can build our Viking boat. Now this one has this little game here you can play too in the back, but they don't give you a preview of what the next uh, Lego build is gonna be, which I like, so unfortunately we didn't get it, but this is gonna be like a mystery, right? What's gonna be in the next one, so okay. Um, so now I'm gonna empty out the pieces here and we are gonna build the Viking ship with these instructions. So here we go, let's, uh, let's get this building here. So we're gonna take this and this here, and then uh, these we need. It's not easy to do behind the camera, but we are going to manage. Okay, so we got that, and then we got to do this. Is this twice? Is this one thing twice? Yes. So we're going to take this and put a blue piece on here, and then put this on. Oh no! Wait, first these. Okay. Then this, and then this, and this, and then four of these. These are going to end up being the oars for the rowers, which is kind of cool. It looks really cool once it's finished. It's very neat. You will see. So we have to, we want to build this twice. So we're going to get another start all over again, which is. We do, we do, we do. Do it again, do it again. Put that there. Okay. Put this one here. This here. This here. Four more of the uh, ore pieces or future ore pieces. Right now they're not, but they will be. Very cool. I like this. I think this is a cool one. And I love doing these little builds because it really shows you the thought they put behind them and how they can, how different pieces can be used um, just to do really cool different little, um, you know, little, little techniques and little designs and, and just really, really cool ideas I find. I think it's so nifty how they do all this. Really, really, really cool. All right, so we've got that. So next we're going to put, uh, let's see, these on here, which is, these go here and here. Yep. To make it kind of more like a ship, rounded in the front or angled in the front like that. Okay. And then we're going to put these up here, angling in. There we go, so far. Next, we're gonna build, we're gonna do this twice. Oops. And this goes on here. Very cool. Oops. There we go, so far so good. Next page. Okay. All righty. So now we're going to do, it looks like the mast heads. Very cool. These little dragon heads. So we want to make sure that they're really pretty much level. And they're going to go on here like that. Super cool. Super cool. Like that. Good idea. See, this is a technique like that is just so cool. Whoops. See, I did it wrong. And there you go. I mean, look at that. That is so neat. What a great technique. What a great idea, way to do this. I mean, really, really, really cool. Okay, next we're going to start with the mast. Okay, so we're going to take one of these and put reds in both sides. Then we're going to join another one and put reds in both sides of this. Oh, no, there already was one in there. 
And then we're going to put this like this. And then this goes in here like so. We're almost done, folks. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't put, okay, I missed a step. We got to put these here on this side too. Miss these. There we go. All right, and now we're ready for the, the sail. We just take this and we put this like that. So it has a clip and we clip it here. Pull it down and there you are. We've got several extra pieces. There is the bike. Oh wait, we have to uh, move the oar pieces here or backwards so they look really cool like they're uh, rowing. Oops, come on, popped it off. Just want to angle them kind of so they look cool, look all in the same, like they're rowing in unison. And there you go. Very cool Viking ship. Awesome. What a cool little build. And the techniques, this is really neat. The oar, uh, oars are really neat. The way they did the sail, very, very cool. Awesome. So there we have it. Lego Explorer issue 32 with the uh, Viking boat, Viking ship, super cool. We even get in this one bonus build, depending on which one you picked up, you can get the space shuttle, there was a polar bear, the tractor, whichever one you'd like. Uh, again, they import these at the Whole Foods in that I go to, so check your Whole Foods, maybe they do, they come out usually the end or beginning of the months, so you gotta get them, because they do. I find that they sell out. But super cool, uh, really neat, nice build, lots of fun, awesome. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.